Brad Levitt, president of AFT Construction. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel today that is catered to builders, designers, architects, and honestly, any small business owners. So make sure you hit that subscribe button below and give us any comments for any topics that you want us to address. We're out here at our North Scottsdale project. And you can see here on this lot, it's pretty fascinating actually because there, this is not really a hillside lot. We don't have a ton of hillside, but there's some slope. And one thing that's really particular in Scottsdale is we have these flood zones. So you can see here, we have this natural wash. And uh, even during design, our architect and engineer, you know, when they were out here, didn't realize um, the, the total slope here. And so we actually had to dig these footings down a little bit more. But the reason we bring this up, because right now something we're dealing with that is a big challenge in, in Scottsdale, and not just Scottsdale, but all throughout Arizona, this is happening in Gilbert, and all throughout town is FEMA. FEMA's come in and, and really put uh, some mandates down on the city, of, uh, you know, on the county, as far as us on our, on our building pads. Because here in the natural desert, you know, you hear the term flash flood, you've probably seen it in the movies in Hollywood, in the desert you get these flash floods and these monsoons and all the water. Well, the issue is a lot of our building heights have been too, too low. So our building pads are too low. You know, the houses are too low. So if there is a hundred year flood or a big flood in town, then it's gonna affect all these houses, which becomes a major insurance problem um, for the community. And so what FEMA's done on national levels require the cities to up the ante a little bit as far as the requirements on what we have to do as a builder. And that's why you see where we're at here. So here at this North Scottsdale, What's happening is in the normal build process, we're typically, if you submitted for permit today, in the past, we'd be about eight weeks to have permit in hand. Well, some of that slowed down a little bit because of COVID, because the city's overworked, but the biggest issue is everything through grading and drainage. We'll get the house plan approved, we'll get the building approved, we'll have the mechanicals approved, and then they'll be stuck at grading and drainage. And so most of these projects are taking about, you know, three to four months in lieu of two months to get permit. And we've had some that have been six to uh, six to 12 months. And it's just to go through this grading and drainage. And the reason being, we can't disturb this. So even though our clients own this full property here, you know, really the site fence kind of gives you a good idea of the property line. Uh, they're not allowed to build out to here. So the city and, and the uh, FEMA have created some zones where they have to have a natural wash. So all the water comes here. You can see it coming down the natural wash that we can't touch. So it's really important when you're building, especially here in Phoenix, to understand, get involved from the very beginning when you find your lot, if it's a desert lot or a hillside lot, that you have your uh, architect, your builder, and of course your civil engineer, you know, working through that grading and drainage. And we highly recommend something we've really done is set some pre-construction meetings with the city council and, and the city, uh, in the, in, not the city council, but the planning and building department to run through that civil, to show them our proposed uh, pad height, where we're gonna put the house, where we're gonna have a retain, where we're gonna have our washes to make sure they give a preliminary approval uh, because that'll save you that six months. And then hopefully now when we're designing the house that you know pad height is already approved. So now we can do the structural components. Oh, we got photo bomber. We're doing our grading and drainage one. So just a little background, I know there's a little bunch of trash on there, I just noticed, but this footing originally in the plans was set at the same height, the top of footing was set at the same height as the wash. So we had to dig it another four feet down. To stay out of that wash. Yep. 